In the middle of Latin America, there's an entire region historically, culturally, and linguistically distinct from the surrounding Hispanic nations that is one of the most peculiar demographic oddities in the Western world. Countries and territories of the region of the Guyanas in South America are extremely unique, being a mash of different peoples and religions from Asia, Africa, and Europe. It's pretty much the only place in the world where you'll find Native American tribes living next to villages of pure-blooded Africans, next to cities populated mainly by South Asians adhering to Hinduism and Islam. There are much more fascinating demographic oddities and rarities to be discovered in this curious land. Similarly to the many Stan countries that we explored in the last video, there are many different Guyanas in South America, including the Guyana region of Venezuela, the countries of Guyana and Suriname, the overseas territory of France known as French Guyana, and the state of Amapa in Brazil. It is quite intriguing to see that these places have belonged to so many diverse colonial powers in their history, so going west to east again, the territories were known in the past as Spanish, British, Dutch, French, and Portuguese Guyana. The different Guyanas didn't really have too much in common before the various Western European colonial powers arrived in the region other than being located on the northern coast of South America and having large swaths of territory in the Amazon rainforest. Nevertheless, the modern territories of the Guyanas, but especially the countries of Guyana and Suriname, are often grouped together for historical and cultural reasons as well as for convenience sake. Since these places don't really fit in well with the rest of South America, or Latin America for that matter, the three South American territories of Guyana, French Guyana, and Suriname actually have a lot more in common with the non-Hispanic nations of the Caribbean since they are predominantly populated by descendants of former African slaves, Indian coolie laborers, and a small European colonial population as well as having a high degree of miscegenation. The main difference is that the Guyanese nations all have large minorities of the indigenous Amerindian inhabitants, while the Caribbean definitely does not. Officially, the language of Guyana is English, surname is Dutch, and French Guyana, as you can probably expect, is French. Although there is a high degree of creolization in these nations, meaning the languages have evolved in such a way in the past couple hundred years that they're no longer mutually intelligible with their original parent languages, meaning speakers of English would generally not be able to understand an English Creole language, although the same is not always true in reverse. The country of Guyana is the largest of the three Guyanas in both area and population, currently sitting at around 800,000 people, comparable to the U.S. state of North Dakota. So, as you can guess, the country isn't exactly bulging for more space, however the population of all the Guyanas is heavily concentrated near the coast, with the Amazonian interior being largely devoid of human life outside of a handful of Amerindian tribes. Suriname is in the middle at around half a million people, and French Guyana is the least populous at only a quarter of a million. Together, the Guyanas would have a population at around 1.5 million people, which is coincidentally about the same as the West African country known as Guinea-Bissau, and it would have an area of around 180,000 square miles, and in another funny coincidence, that's about the same as Papua New Guinea. Even though Guyana, Guinea-Bissau, and New Guinea have pretty much nothing in common, being in three separate continents. Even if these three entities joined into a single country, they would still be the least populous nation in South America by far. The population of this region is one of the most diverse in the world, with no single ethnicity making up a majority of any one nation. In fact, the whole concept of ethnicity is a little fluid in this area, seeing as to how many Guyanese might not even know what ethnicity their ancestors were in the first place. The modern history starts around three to four hundred years ago, when the European colonial powers first started to settle in the region. The European settlers brought along with them African slaves, and it wasn't long until the African slaves greatly outnumbered the Europeans and the British, Dutch, and French Guyanas. Many escaped slaves formed their own communities in the jungles of the Amazon, creating their own language and culture, and today their descendants are known as Maroons, while the descendants of freed slaves are known as Creoles, not to be confused with the Creoles of Louisiana, who are far more mixed. Because the Maroons are descended from much earlier African groups in the region, they are in many cases of full-blooded sub-Saharan African descent, something that's quite rare to find anywhere in the Americas. 
The Creoles, on the other hand, might have non-African admixture, mostly European, at rates anywhere from 10 to 30 percent, similar to modern black Americans. The Creole groups are very similar in culture to that of Afro-Caribbeans, especially from English-speaking countries in the Caribbean. A large chunk of Guyana's population is of African descent from either of these two groups, totaling at around 30 percent. This proportion was much larger in the past, but has decreased due to a larger rate of emigration for Afro-Guyanese and a high rate of miscegenation with other groups. The Afro-Surinamese population is a bit higher at 37 percent and was also much higher in the past, but has declined for similar reasons. The territory of French Guyana actually doesn't take census data on race or ethnicity, however independent studies have placed the black population there at around 40 to 60 percent and possibly much higher with the recent influx of Haitian refugees. It's very common for Indians to have family relations with other Indians all over the planet, although many Indians and even Indian Americans don't realize that there are countries outside of Asia that have a South Asian majority or plurality. One of the largest groups in the region would be those of Indian or South Asian descent. The South Asians were brought to the Guyanas in the mid-1800s after the African slaves were freed and a new market opened up for cheap labor in both Suriname and Guyana. Today, South Asians are a plurality of the population of Guyana at 40% according to the latest census and also make up over a quarter of Suriname's population. Indian immigration was much less common to neighboring French Guyana and South Asians only make up around 5 to 10% of the territory. These early Indian laborers came from all parts of South Asia but predominantly the northern Indian state of Bihar. Guyana is one of the few countries in the Americas where the indigenous inhabitants are actually making quite the comeback, seeing how Amerindians only made up 4% of the population in 1946, but now has risen to over 10%. The percentage of natives in neighboring Suriname and French Guyana, however, doesn't rise above 5% for either. Another interesting quirk of the Guyanas is that there is a fairly large community of people from East and Southeast Asia. People of Indonesian, mostly Muslim Javanese descent, make up 14% of Suriname's population due to the fact that Javanese workers were brought in from the Netherlands' other colony in the East Indies. A small number of Hmong refugees from Southeast Asia were relocated to French Guyana after the Vietnam War, and this group has actually completely revitalized the farming industry in the territory, seeing how the climate and terrain is so similar to their native Laos and Vietnam. The Chinese have been moving to the region since the 1800s, largely to act as traders and merchants, and although the number of pure-blooded Chinese in each nation is rather small, up to 10% of Guyana's population has at least some Chinese ancestry, either of mixed Indo-Chinese descent known as Chindian, or of Afro-Chinese descent. The post-colonial European population in Guyana and Suriname is very small, only at around 2% for each country. However, there are many of mulatto, meaning mixed with African, or mestizo, meaning mixed with Native American descent. The European in these countries are mostly Portuguese rather than English or Dutch, although the whites in French Guyana are mostly French and are much more numerous at around 15% of the territory. Now, of course, you can't just have so many diverse groups together and not expect them to mix, so naturally, each nation has a huge percentage of people of a multiracial background, at around 20% for Guyana, 13% for Suriname, and 15% for French Guyana. The most numerous mixed-race group would be the Mulattoes, followed by the Dugla people, who are of mixed African and South Asian descent, although occasionally the word Dugla is used to refer to anyone of mixed race in the Guyanas. There are even many people that are so mixed as to not fall into any category at all, and maybe a combination of African, Indian, European, Chinese, and Native American DNA. Being so close to Brazil and Venezuela, naturally there's a large minority of Latinos living in the region who are either of European, Mestizo, or Brazilian Pardo, that being a mix of mostly European, but also with large amounts of African and Amerindian blood. Now, looking at population charts for Suriname and Guyana, you would notice that there was a very noticeable dip in the population for the two countries in the 1970s and 90s, respectively. This was primarily caused by two factors, falling birth rates and immigration to other countries. Many Guyanese moved to the United Kingdom, Canada, but especially in the United States, and some of the largest communities of Guyanese Americans are in New York and Florida, 
where they've mainly integrated with other Caribbean groups, such as Trinidadians. These migrants are mostly of African descent, with most Guyanese in Canada actually being of Indian descent. Unlike the Guyanese, Surinamese immigrants overwhelmingly headed back to their former colonial central, the Netherlands, with the Surinamese population of the Netherlands actually rivaling that of even the population of Suriname itself. The Guyanas are, without a doubt, one of my favorite regions in the world to learn about. Because there's so many people from all corners of the globe living there, there's always more to explore and discover when it comes to the people and cultures of these nations. The Guyanas alone have little power or influence in the region, and it's almost certain that they'll never unite into one country, seeing how one of them actually still belongs to a European state, and is technically still a part of the European Union, strangely enough. But if they did, it would be quite the sight to behold indeed. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the Guyanas and the people that inhabit the region in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching everyone. This has been Mason, and I'll see you next time.